I've made a mistake. I am so sorry. If you watched my last two shorts, then thank you so much. I really appreciate that. But I made a couple of mistakes. It was more of an omission uh, instead of a mistake. So the video where I detailed all the pre-order bonuses and all that fun stuff, I missed a couple. They're not really super important. A lot of them are like in Japan or other places. But nonetheless, here's just a couple that you might have missed. I'll just put them on screen here. So that's not that big a deal. But uh, yeah, this 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 one's pretty bad. The main thing you got wrong with the version exclusives for the professors and the Don Fan Paradox version exclusives. So Professor Turro is from the future. He's in Violet. And Sada is in Scarlet. She's from the past. So that makes more sense because Turro has the... Turo has the uh, purple outfit and then Stada has like the more orangey red, you know, past looking thing. I literally looked at my list and said the opposite for some reason. And then we have the Great Tusk. Uh, he's actually in Scarlet and the Iron Treads is actually in Violet because the Great Tusk is a like a past looking thing and Iron Treads is Violet. So that's, that is, that was a big mistake. I don't know how I missed that, but that happened. Also more info on what they are. They're basically a, a Paradox Pokemon, which I think is new to this uh, series, because I haven't played Sword and Shield, but that is, uh, basically the, the future and past version of Donphan, obviously Great Tusks being the past, and Iron Treads being the future, which, again, I screwed up, and I'm so sorry. Okay, so now that my mistakes have been fixed, I please forgive me for that, I'm sorry if you pre-ordered the wrong copy because of that, but, uh, I will now show you an updated list of all the known exclusives, so... Here they are. Okay, on the Scarlet side, which again is the past, we have Armor Rouge, which I finally learned how to say. It's Armor Rouge, like, you know, the word Rouge, which means red, basically. Stonejourner, Orangaroo, Donkey, Skunk Tank, Drifloom, Driftblim, Drift, Driftblim, Driftblim. Okay. Larvitar, Pupitar, Tyranitar. Do you know, how do you say that? Zuelis, 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 Hydra, Hydragen, Hydrogen, Hydragen, 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 Skrulp, and Dragalg. Drag, Dragalg. Dude, I've, I'm just so old. Dragalg. 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 I feel like I'm drowning as I say that word. And on the violet side, which is the future, we have Seraledge, Eskew, Passimian, Gulpin, Swalet, Mistrevious, Miss Ma Miss Magius, Miss Magius, Miss Magius. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I. I have to make another video where I, like, redo all these words. Holy cow. Shellgun, Salamence, Dreepy, which I love this line right here. I didn't get to play Sword and Shield, but I love this. Dracloak and Dragapult. And then we have Clauncher and Sir. Closer. All right. And of course, we have Coridon, which is Scarlet, and Maridon, which is Violet. Some info about them as well is that you will supposedly not be able to switch them out at all, like trade them, because they're going to be your main riding Pokemon. And if you if you trade them out and you don't have anything in return, like, oops, now I can't go anywhere, you know, fast. But from what I've heard, you get to have a second chance to catch another one, so that if you want to trade that up, that which is pretty cool, because I, I really liked Coridon, but I really like everything on Violet. And a cool little thing about them is Coridon has like more primitive way of moving around so he'll like even though he has that really ugly wheel on his on his throat he can like he when he swims or when he runs he uses his legs and then ride on which is like a futuristic like looking thing she just like kind of soars through the air and you know like the jetsons that's an old reference i don't know why i use that but going back to the great tusk and the iron treads thing this is considered spoiler territory so if you don't want to see it look away right now click off this video just go check out my the short i made where i talked about you know bunny stuff i don't know which one that is they're all funny but go check them out so these are all the pokemon that are confirmed that are paradox exclusives i'm not going to show you the exact pokemon image but these are what they're based off of so on the scarlet side we have of course great tusk which is the past version of don fan but then we have screamtail which is past of Jigglypuff, Brute Bonnet, Fluttermane, Slitherwing, Sandy Shocks, and Roaring Moon. And on the Violet side, we have Iron Treads, which is the future version of Don Fan. And then we have the future version of Delibird, which is Iron Bundle. And then Iron Hands, Iron Jugulus, Iron Moth, Iron Thorns, and Iron Valiant is a combination of these two, which I don't remember the name, so I'm so sorry. But yeah, from what I've heard again from my source is that the past Pokemon will have more of an overgrowth looking, you know, style. And the future will have more of a shiny, like, metal type look future and yeah that's about it a uh, huge credit uh, pretty much all credit goes to austin john plays um i'll link his channel down below he's awesome i've just recently found him and he's just a cool guy i like it doesn't matter his content i'm not if i'm not into it he's just fun to watch but he has all this information he's also played the game early so if you want to check more of that out go check him out he's pretty cool so all that info in your brains now which version are you getting i personally am getting violet i really like the everything about it i like Cyril Cyrilluge. Cyrilluge? I like the black looking 
knight thing with the sword hands, that thing's sick. Also, seeing this updated list, I really like that drag dragapult looking thing and Dreepy. I just want Dreepy forever. I want to hold it and hug it and never let it go. And also, what uh, starter are you picking? Um, I'm going to stick to my apple crocodile, Fue Coco, because he has the most... Fabulous. I don't know why I got what happened. What did that voice? I think it's because Foy Coco is such a weird word. It's just like it's such a fun thing to say, but at the same time, I want to, you know, just vomit af after every after I want to vomit every time I say it. I don't know why. Anywho, if you'd like to see more stuff like this with me just rambling and talking about stuff and maybe playing some games, maybe you can subscribe. I don't know. You can also like the video if, if you want. And you can comment about what I got wrong in this video too and send art to my PO box. And I want to preface everything in this video and just say that I am so sorry that i again i'm just apologizing for everything i didn't play sword and shield i wasn't into a lot of the i hated arceus i'm sorry i know it's an unpopular opinion did not like arceus at all i returned that game and i was a huge proponent of an open world arceus style game where you run around and throw pokeballs i've been saying that since the wii bro but yeah i uh i have i don't know a lot of the newer pokemon i hate a lot of designs i'm sorry i just don't like all these new designs i didn't even like the 3d games i tried them they just felt softer the stupid there was no, like, angry... I like the bad boy, you know, friends. You know, like, we had Gold and Silver. I liked that. The other guy was kind of a jerk. I like Gary. They was like, smell you later. And he was all, like, you know, kicking sand in your eyes. And you were, like, killing his Pokemon. And he was visiting them in the graveyard. Yeah, I love that. But anyways, I love Pokemon, and I'm excited for this one because these designs are really speaking to me, you know? There's, like, literally a... The, the Quaxley, I might not be picking him, but he's literally the coolest little duck I've ever seen. I love ducks. So I'm sorry if I pronounce every word wrong in this in this video. I do apologize. Don't hurt me. But you can help me by phonetically telling me how in the comments and boosting engagement, so... <laughs> okay, thanks.